Ben, thanks for joining us today. Let's start off with the Max 9. We'll talk about the, uh, the business in terms of what you want to get back to, uh, but we'll talk about that in a bit. I want to talk first about the, the Max 9. You have the first ones potentially going back into service tomorrow. How long will it take you to get all of those 65 back in service? Oh, hi, Phil. Good to see you again, and good morning, Tyler. Uh, so, Phil, we're starting the inspections today. Uh, like you said, the first one Friday. We expect within about a week our entire 65 airplanes or close to that should be up um, back in full service, and we should be back to full schedule sometime later next week. You've said that you're angry, understandably angry, about what happened three weeks ago uh, and the fact that the follow-up inspections, you guys found loose bolts in many aircraft. Um, the question that I think a lot of people have is, have you expressed that anger directly to Dave Calhoun and Stan Deal at Boeing? Have you said to him, look, guys, this is beyond unacceptable what has happened? Absolutely, Phil. Within a couple of days of the event, um, they were in our offices here uh, in Seattle, and you know I made it perfectly clear: Flight 1282 should never, ever have happened. Alaska Airlines received an aircraft off the production line with a faulty door plug, and we're going to hold Boeing accountable for that. Uh, we're going to hold them to a higher standard uh, for airplanes coming off the delivery line, uh, and that standard is going to be higher quality. And we've already started with our own folks on the uh, production line, providing a second set of eyes in terms of oversight. You've heard the announcements with the FAA in terms of their additional oversight. Boeing explained to us a lot of the quality improvement plans they're going to put in place. So I'm confident with all these steps that are going to be put in place that we'll get a better quality airplane off the production line. But we're going to put uh, a higher bar for Boeing, and we're going to hold their feet to the fire in terms of aircraft delivery and quality. Ben, thank you for joining us. Tyler here. Um, how does this affect your desire to do business with Boeing, to buy planes from Boeing, or will you look at other suppliers more closely than maybe you did uh, in the past? Well, Tyler, we have a long relationship and a deep one with Boeing that goes back a couple of decades, two, three decades. Uh, and so that partnership is strong. And I think it's virtue of that partnership where I can have tough conversations with leadership team and say, look, you guys are better than this. Uh, and we have 231 Boeing 737s. We are an all Boeing fleet. And we have 185 deliveries coming to us in the next seven to eight years. So we made that commitment to Boeing. And I'm asking Boeing now to make a commitment that their quality is going to improve dramatically with their forward deliveries. So I hear you saying we still trust them. Correct me if I'm, if I'm putting words in your mouth, number one. Number two, of the 65 planes that you have, the MAX 9s in your fleet, how many of them have that door plug? Uh, so uh, all the MAX 9s, the, the, the 9 model, all have the door plug. So 65 of them, and they have a door plug on the left and right-hand side. So there's two door plugs uh, per airplane. Uh, the Dash 8 MAX, which we, we received our first one uh, that's in service, does not have any door plugs.